know, I have problems with religious people. I don't have a problem with the devil, really. I don't. I, honestly, I don't walk around talking, the devil did this and the devil did that. and the de and the, I mean, more people talk about the devil than they do about God. I never talk about Even in my messages, I don't talk about Satan and all that. I mean, he's been defeated. Your parents were quite strict. They were Christian mm. ministers. They still are, yeah. Oh, yeah? Testimony. I mean, I was searching for love. I was in the 60s. I was a yippie. That's why I dress the way I do, because I still got a little LSD left in me. And it comes out when I dress, you know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, it just does. I don't know. Bam, wham. I said, wow, man. That, that's a, I remember that trip. Woo, yeah. <laughs> and listen, uh, life is too short to be depressed and sad all the time. And I'm always going to pray for me. Shut up. Pray for yourself. <laughs> Come on. I mean, I do. I mean, if you want to pray for me. No, I ain't praying for you. Look at you. I mean, my God, you've been asking people to pray for you half of your life. Do some of your own praying. Shut up. Pray for yourself. Come on. Um, yeah, I mean, I released a gospel record when I was 15 um, because I grew up in, uh, you know, a household where all I ever did was listen to gospel music and my parents are both traveling ministers and so I kind of sang about, you know, what was going on in my life at 15 and that's how I got introduced to the music industry. Because I swear I wanted to be like the Amy Grant of music, Yeah. <laughs> but it didn't work out and so I sold my soul to the devil. Mm -hmm.